Hello everyone and welcome to my second Jet Photos editing tutorial. Um, as you can see here from my Instagram story, um, you guys were pretty keen on seeing another editing tutorial. I'll link my first tutorial up in the top right hand corner so you can go click on that if you want to watch that one and get up to speed. I thought I would change it up for this video and show how to upload cockpit photos whether it's a day cockpit photo or a night cockpit photo. So I'll be going through that today in this editing tutorial. Okay, so this is the shot that we will start off on. Um, I just want to say that I did use a flash for this one. So if you guys can get your hands on a flash, that will definitely help um, your cockpit photos and make them a lot easier to edit. Also, before you take your photo, make sure to get the composure properly done because as you can see here, um, the hat's in the way a bit, so that's something that I probably could have avoided, but that's okay. We can um, work on that a bit later. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is come over to the right-hand side over here and go down to the bottom. I just like to, down here, remove the chromatic aberration and enable lens corrections. Um, I'm just going to check um, what settings I used. 100 ISO, so there shouldn't be too much noise. I'm just going to stick with my usual um, 30 noise reduction and if I zoom in a bit um, you can see that's pretty decent on the sharpness so again just my usual um, 80 sharpening. Um, then we're going to come over to the main sliders here. We can see that it is a little bit overexposed on the outside um, and the inside of the cockpit is decent exposure. So. I want to fix that. I'm just going to increase the contrast a little and I'm just going to start with about 30 contrast and we can see that the white's um, quite evident on the outside now, the white's and the highlights and over here on the histogram. So to counteract that I'm just going to drop the highlights down uh, to negative 50 and we can already see that that's fixed the outside. Um, However, it's still quite dark here in the cockpit. Um, I'm actually going to crop the photo now because I think that will just make it a bit easier to edit. Um, I like a 4-3 aspect ratio for cockpits and also want to still level them if possible. So um, just having a look at the gear here and um, this panel. So you've got the vertical and horizontal. So that looks pretty, pretty good there. Um, maybe bring it a little bit tighter to try and move some of this hat um, and that looks pretty central as well so I'm happy with that and continue on our edit I'm um, going to bump up the exposure I'm going to go with 0.5 does so that makes the cockpit quite a bit brighter but it also means the outside is now overexposed again so I'm going to drop the whites down to about negative 50 to try to try counteract that. Um, I'd say that's looking pretty good, but we're just lacking a bit of contrast. You can see that um, it seems that we've just kind of there's um, no shadows really. So just going to increase contrast about 60. Um, from experience, the screeners do like to see a bit of contrast in the cockpit. They'd rather. Um, the contrast on the more extreme side than uh, a lack of contrast. Um, the outside's still a little bit overexposed, I think. So what I can do is over here, I can grab the brush, and I can drop the highlights down to say negative 30. And what I can do is I can just brush down like this, and that's going to remove some of the highlights and just balance out the exposure a bit better. So if I just have a look where I've drawn over, you can see that I've got most of it. I'll just zoom out and we can see that that's probably a little bit too dark to be honest. So I'm going to go down to negative 10. And to be fair for this image, it doesn't do a whole lot so I'm actually going to remove that and I might just Drop the highlights down to say negative 70. I'd say that's looking pretty good there. Um, so I'd say I'm pretty happy with that. That looks pretty good. 
uh, the whites aren't overexposed there and looks pretty well balanced. Um, in terms of the white balance, that looks okay. I'm not going to touch the effects panel. And uh, that's all good there. Shouldn't be any dust spots, so I'm going to leave that as is. And we can see from before and after the sharpening and noise reduction, it's still pretty sharp. So um, I like 1400 for um, these images. I'm just going to check the registration, which was XZL. So when I export the file, come up to custom settings. I'm going to change the pixels to 1400. Um, don't need a watermark for this one because it's going on jet photos, so no watermarks. And the registration VHXZL, so I know when I'm uploading it that that's the image I want. I'm going to click export, I'm going to save it to my desktop, and then I'm going to go upload it to jet photos. So now that I've completed that day shot, I'm going to go over to the night shot and show you how to edit the night shots. For the cockpit photos, um, I just want to say that for these, uh, you don't need a flash, but what you're gonna want is a tripod. Uh, this shot here, it was five second exposure, so if you can hold your hand steady and knock any motion blur for five seconds, um, please message me because I haven't met anyone that can do that. So you're gonna want a tripod, and that's gonna help hold your camera steady so that you can do a long exposure because. Um, the only way around that, if you don't have a tripod, is to do a, a slow shutter speed, like one tenth, one twentieth of a second, and you're going to need super high ISO, so it's probably going to be not very sharp and super grainy. Um, again, we're going to jump down the bottom, remove chromatic aberration, enable lens corrections. I only use 250 ISO, so just the standard 30 and 80. If you had, say, a shorter long exposure and you maybe had a thousand, two thousand, or even higher ISO, you could bring the noise up to 50, 60, maybe even 70, but I don't need that, so I'm going to stick with 30. Um, jump back up the top now. I want to crop to start actually. Uh, I said 4 3 for cockpit photos, so I mean, that's not a given rule. It's I kind of like the feel. Um, this cockpit is a little bit different, I feel, but I still think that the 4.3 suits it quite well. I uh, get most of the cockpit in. Um, Leveling just needs a little bit clockwise rotation. Uh, you can see that it's level along there and with the landing gear. So that's my reference for cockpit photos. And you can also see on the building and that sort of thing out there, it's pretty good. Um, it also looks central, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click enter. Alright, uh, first thing I like to do with night photos is if your camera is on auto white balance at night time, it's going to be a bit of a yellow tint. So what you can do is you can come down here to the white balance and we've got temperature and tint here. Um, so obviously the image has got a yellow tint to it, so I'm just going to bring that down to say, I just want to see what, 2500, that's obviously now too blue, so I'll bring it back up again, again, it's still a little bit yellow on the outside, so I'm going to try 2800, and now it's a bit too blue, so maybe 2850, actually maybe 2900 is better, yeah, I'm going to stick with that, uh, that seems to be the best colour balance. In terms of the tint, um, not going to mess around with that. Just don't see the need. Now I need to fix the exposure, the contrast, that sort of thing. It's pretty well exposed already because it's long exposure. Uh, if I lift, you can see that it blows out the highlight, so I don't really want to lift the exposure up much. Maybe 0.3. But I'm still not liking the highlights there. They're a bit blown out. Um, and drop the highlights to negative 20 and that kind of fixes that there same as the last cockpit image still a lack of contrast so I'm gonna bump that up to start at 40 and that's a little bit too dark so I'm gonna go negative I mean positive 30 
and that that's a, it gives a pretty good balance between the blacks and the whites. The issue with night photos is obviously the histogram is not very reliable. Obviously, it's still considerate, but um, it's obviously going to mostly be sloping on the left hand side because of the darker pixels. So pretty happy with that so far. Color lamps we've done. Don't touch the effects. Done all that already. Uh, again, we can use the brush tool if we wanted to to maybe bring the highlights down a bit more on this panel here. So I'll brush over it. We can see that it really just balances it out. So I'm actually going to brush brush over the whole panel and see where I've, if I've missed any spots. That looks pretty good. So I'm happy with that, and that I think allows me to actually up the exposure a little bit more on the inside. Yep, that looks a little bit better now. Um, and yeah, that's looking pretty good, pretty sharp. So um, I'm just going to check for dust spots in this one, but there shouldn't be. You can't really see much, to be fair. Um, so again, coming up here to the export tab, custom settings. We already had a look before, and it was... Um, quite sharp so again I'm going to do 1400 pixels I don't really like doing the maximum 1920 for uh, cockpit photos just because it can expose um, little blemishes and that sort of thing I just need to catch the rego uh, if it's on here um, otherwise I'll have to um, work it out yeah, this way um, can't actually see it here unless I'm looking in the wrong spot, which I probably am. Um, that's okay. I don't think it's down there, is it? No. So I'll sort that out later. Custom settings, 1,400, and I'm gonna write Fokker night oh, night shot, and then that's good to go. Hit the export button. And then we're just going to jump across onto Jet Photos. Okay, guys, here's the first shot that we edited. Um, that's it here on the database. So we can see that one here. And then for the night shot, that's just this one here. So I'll just show you guys this one now. Um, just let it load. And yeah, so we can see both are accepted. Um, I can't obviously promise that your shots will get accepted by following this video, but you're going to have a much better chance. And um, yeah, all the best with that, guys. Here's a couple of my cockpit shots that are on the database. And if you wanted to check out any other of my shots, then just search my name up and um, yeah, it will come up. So thanks for watching, guys. I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, it goes a long way, and I really appreciate that.